We're working on more subtraction problems with the clock model. And don't look for efficiency here. I know that that's usually the goal, but really when we find efficient algorithms for fractions, we should also make sure that we have an intuition with these numbers, and that's the goal here. So you might want to pause and solve the expressions in the string, look for any patterns or connections between them to help you solve them, and use the clock model when working on these problems. It's designed to help you gain intuition with these fractions. So first we have one and a half minus one and one third. Well, if I take an hour from one and a half, I still have 30 minutes left over. So it's like 30 minutes minus 20 minutes, right? Because a third of an hour, you see it here in the clock, every third is 20 minutes. That gives us 10 minutes, and 10 minutes, right? Each 10 minute chunk is one sixth of the total. So that's one sixth. We use that here. We take 10 minutes from two hours and 10 minutes, and we have two hours. So that's pretty straightforward. Here, two and a fifth, well, that's two hours and 12 minutes, right? Because a fifth of an hour, you can see it here. If I took this red piece five times, that's 12 minutes five times. I get 60 minutes, right? 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. So each of those fifths are 12 minutes. And then we have minus an hour and five sixths. Well, five sixths is equal to what? Well, one sixth was 10 minutes, five sixths is 50 minutes. So it's minus one hour and 50 minutes. Now this looks nasty, but we can deal with it. Two hours, 12 minutes, minus an hour, break this apart a little bit, gives me one hour and 12 minutes. And we still have 50 more minutes to take away. Fortunately, we have this clock to think about it. Here we're at 12, we take 12 away, right? We still have 38 more to go. So we go 10, 20, 38. That brings me right here. I think I did it right, let me do it again, sorry. 10, 20, 30, 40, oops, wait. So let me start this over. So 10, an hour and 12 minutes starting here, we have to take 38 more minutes away. So we go 12, and then, uh, that's my six. 12 minute jump here. Oh boy, I'm, I'm sorry. My, my mind is just not working. We're at an hour and 50 minutes. An hour and 12 minutes. And we have to take, we have to take this 50 minute chunk away still. So we take 12 away, and then we have 38 more to go. Okay, I was right in that. So 10, 20, 30, 35, oh, 35, 36, 37, 30, that's to throw me off right now. I can't see the dashes or see how the, all right, oh boy. Bear with me here. So 10, 20, 30, there's 30, okay, here's 10, 20, 30, here's 35. There we go, 36, 37, 30, oh, I was right, oh boy. So what does that mean? What does all that mean? Well. That means that we had an hour and 12 minutes, we took 50 minutes away, that brings me to 22 minutes, or 22 out of 60. Right here is 20, 1, 22. Reduce that, we get 11, dividing by 2, a numerator and denominator by 2, 11 out of 30. Very unfriendly fraction, but we still were able to muddle to it. Um, and we can check this, does this make sense? If I add 50 minutes to 22, what do I get? Well, I add... Um, 10 minutes to get 32, another 10 to get 42, that's 20 minutes, and then another 10, it's 30 minutes to get 52, another 10 to get an hour or two, all right, so 10, 20, 30, 40, and another 10, 50 minutes uh, brings us back to an hour and 12. Oh boy. Um, but anyway, I... And this is just one of those problems where the clock model, it may, even with the clock model, I'm having a really tough time thinking about this problem. But you know what? I still was able to think about it intuitively. I hope, I, I hope I'm not losing you here on this clock model. I hope that you still think it might have some value. So 1 6 minus 1 12. What's a 6 again? That's 10 minutes. And what's a 12? What's 5 minutes? 10 minus 5, we get 5 out of 60, or 1 12, right? And that makes sense. A six is like um, 
two twelfths minus the twelve again the twelfth. But a cool connection here that you might might I might be losing because I'm all over the place is that again one twelfth gave us a five minute chunk, but one fifth gave us a twelve minute chunk. What a neat connection there. And I'll leave it to you to think about why it might be happening. See if you can think if you can express that. So now four fifths minus three fourths. Well, we established that four, one fifth is twelve minutes, so four four fifths has to be forty eight minutes minus three fourths is like subtracting three quarters of an hour or forty five minutes, and that gives us three out of sixty divided by three numerator denominator, and we get one out of twenty, so one twentieth. And last but not least, we have fifty minutes, right? Five sixth minus four fifths which we established as 48 minutes. So 50 minutes minus 48 minutes gives us 2 out of 60. Right? Divide both numerator and denominator by 2, we get 1 out of 30. Right? Is that right? Yes, I did. Okay, anyway, we got one more video to go with the clock model.